In today's review, we're checking out the Yu Zhang F06 EC135 Flybarless Helicopter. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today, we're going to check out the F06 EC135. It is a flybarless helicopter that has four rotors on there. The F06 is a ready to fly helicopter and it does come in at about $219. The rotor diameter is about 333 millimeters from tip to tip and it has a 350 millimeter front to back fuselage. Our heli came with one battery and it is rechargeable by USB-C port on the side right here. It should get us about eight to nine minutes flight time. It has two clips in the front to help snap it into place and it has a port for adding an FPV camera on the front of this helicopter. And I love the way the back of the helicopter looks with the brushless motor and the blade here and the fan system. The blades look super cool and it looks really scale. The heli itself is completely brushless and is powered by a main motor. It's a 2507 1300 kV brushless motor. In the very back we have a little smaller motor and that one's a 1204 7000 kV motor. And the remote itself is operating on 2.4 gigahertz. It also takes four AAA batteries in the very back and it does have the bubble gimbal style sticks like I've talked about before. But the good thing is it doesn't feel super laggy and robotic when you're controlling it. Now the controller has all kinds of buttons on here. Uh, it does have trim buttons in the front, but those have different modes on there. We have manual mode at the very top switch right here. We have one touch auto flip, which we could not get working. And I saw the other reviews and no one else got it to work either. So there must be a problem there. But we also have frequency pairing button. This is on the bottom left, right, right here. And we also also have a one key landing button on this side of the trim button. It's kind of weird that the trim buttons are actually the, the mode buttons, but if you long press it, you can short to, to, to lock it, short press to unlock. You can do a push button power mode on switch as well right here. And so that will help unlock it. The way you unlock this helicopter is sticks down into the outside corners and that will enable the main rotor. You can go into manual mode by the top left button on the trim right here on the vertical trim button as well as optical flow button is on the very bottom on the same trim button here. So um, very interesting remote but seems kind of lacking for other heli systems out there. I also believe that this one can be paired up with other types of radio master controllers so stay tuned for more information on that. You should be able to get rid of this controller should you not like it. But other than the transmitter, I really like the Heli. I think I might end up trying to bind it to my 4-in-1 module on my Radio Master controller. So I also like that it has four rotor blades on here. Great scale looks for the body and it's a 300 class size Heli which makes it super stable. Optical flow on here also makes it easy for beginners. And just to drive that point home, we're going to have my 7 year old son fly it today. And it's his first time ever flying an RC helicopter. So that should be interesting. The optical flow and stability and positioning hold is really going to come in handy with him while he's learning the sticks for the very first time. Let's go ahead out now and give it a flight test and see how it performs. All right, guys, here we are at the field. I'm here with my son, Keith. I mean, uh, Ninja Man today. And Ninja Man's gonna fly the EC-135 for us. It has six channels on here. It's also a six axis gyro. It has one key automatic inversion. So we're gonna see how that works out, but it also is supposed to have full manual flight and full stabilities, but I love the way this one looks. I think it looks super cool. What do you think? Yeah. You like yeah. the way it looks? Yeah, I like the way it looks. Are you ready to fly it? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna fly it together. Keith, you're gonna go first. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the battery. All right, we're gonna get it flat as soon as possible so the gyro is initialized properly. And to be able to arm this, what we're gonna do is the sticks go down and to the outside, kind of like a lot of drones you've seen before. Down and out. And that should get the heli moving. There we go. It armed it. So now all we have to do to come off the ground is just push up. Okay, on that left stick. And we're off. Now you're flying the heli, Keith. Push forward like that. So now we're flying like pure line of sight together. Uh, Isn't that cool? It's yeah. like a real live video game. Yeah, it's like a race car. <laughs> you're doing really good. That's fast. So Keith, this is your first time flying a helicopter. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. You're doing a good job. Full doing it all by yourself right now. That is awesome. Good job, buddy. I have a future drone camps pilot right here, you guys. Keith's gonna turn eight years old this summer. So he's seven years old, learning how to fly heli. And he's doing it all by himself right now. So oh, one key yeah. inverted That's flight. Cool. Isn't that cool? What do you think about that? Look at that, you're doing that all by yourself. 
Good job. So right now you should be in like speed mode number two. So it, he's getting this really fast. Like kids learn RC so fast. I'm just helping you turn back to the field there so we don't want to be over the concrete. Really good job, buddy. I like the, remember the one that looked like the airwolf that we had on the channel? That one was smooth and quiet, but it was a little bit faster than this one. It didn't have like optical flow position hold. Like this one will just sit right in front of the camera right here in one spot. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I feel like I could reach out and touch it, but I'm not even gonna, <laughs> I'll get my finger chopped off. And I've already done that with a drone, so. Man, the head speed sounds super high on that guy. This one definitely is worth doing some FPV. I feel like we need to put an FPV camera on this one and fly this one. This one is super stable. So friends of mine that are on the channel, Drone Camps and Friends, if you're watching this and you do FPV, this is a good one for FPV. Look at how it's holding in the wind right here. Like the trees over here are blowing pretty good. This little guy's just chilling. All right, so whenever the transmitter's beeping, I can see on the bottom of the heli that only have, I only have like one LED now. So we're just gonna come down and land. Should we land on the concrete, Keith? No. In the grass? Yeah, in the grass. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna make a landing. Right, yeah, right where we took off from. Man, listen to that head speed. All right, perfect landing. We're gonna push down on the stick right there. And boom, we are down on the ground. Wow, look at those rotors still going. That looks so cool. How much fun was that? How was your first time flying a helicopter? Cool, I like it. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Heck yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys watching the channel today. If you want to grab one of these, you can check out Keith and I's link down below. Yeah, and this be probably one of my favorite kind of... Um, RCs? Yeah, RCs. Cool. So this is your favorite one so far? Yeah, this is one of my favorites. So next time we're going to put a camera on the front and we're going to fly it with FPV goggles. Oh, man. That'll be fun. So I appreciate you guys. Check out our links down below, like oh, I said, and uh, grab one of these from our guys at Maker Fire. So thanks to Maker Fire for sending us out one of these to play with. I appreciate it. And Keith, I know you appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So Keith and I will see you on the next one. I could do um, seven thumbs up if I had seven thumbs up. Seven thumbs up, he says. Guys, take care. We'll see you on the next one. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs>